Okay, so I ended up going around the brick in black and adding a little bit of white and the, whoops. And this is how my brick wall has turned out. And I like it, I'm happy with it. So what I'm wanting to do now is put a little bit of texture up here on the top. And I think in order to do that, I'm going to use the Americana Decor stencil and it's old French script. And so, and I think I'm going to apply that with some modeling paste, if I can find it. Okay. And I don't want it all over the place, I'm just going to have it, um, in a few places. a sentiment for my canvas so I'm going to be using these stencils and this is the Decor Personally Yours Urban Ink line and it's the shadow alphabet okay I'm excited I'm just gonna put it on white cardstock so my sentiment is going to be love is in the air. So, and I'm just going to be using the same colors that I've been using for my fence and my background and that kind of stuff.
So my camera died, I apologize. And I've done a few things off camera while I was waiting for it to charge. Um, that one of those things being that I <clears throat> um, took the leftover paint that was on my sheet and um, did some splatters. So there's splatters all on the background now and all the colors that were on the um, sheet and I did them at the bottom as well and all over the sides. <clears throat> um, the other thing that I did off camera was I first what I did um, I finished doing my work or I finished uh, stenciling out my letters. I took a black pen and went around these ones as well as put the splatters on here. I also took my scissors and just went all around the edges to distress this a lot, like a bit, like quite a bit. And then I took the paint and just outlined it so it's got all different colors around the edges, pink, blue, the green, all the colors that are on here. Um, I finished this one as well. I did the same thing with the distressing except I went around the edges in black. I took my white gel pen and um, my jelly roll pen and just did a little bit of highlighting on the letters. And I cut out a piece of black cardstock to fit. I think I'm going to um, adhere this to black cardstock. And this one I thought looked best on this blue colored cardstock. I think it looks really well, goes together well. And what I'm doing right now, because all I really have left to do, I don't have much left to do with this canvas, um, is I'm taking my Memento Tuxedo Black and a makeup sponge, and I'm just going around these images of the hearts and just roughly, I'm not trying to be perfect with it, just kind of go through them really quickly to get rid of that white edge. And I really love how these turned out. They're really cool. So what I was noticing is what I need to do now is I think I'm going to take these clouds. I'm going to get the piece of paper they were on. I think I'm going to go grab some um, glue of some sort to put over the top of this because so that way the glitter won't come off all the time. Um, it's fine if it comes off, but at the same time, I do want it to stay glittery, so at the same time, I really don't like this texture. Like, I want it to feel differently, so um, be right back again. Okay, so I have this Americana DuraClear Matte Varnish, and I'm just going to stick this on here, and I think I'm just going to spread it out. With a palette knife right quick. Maybe I should use a brush. I just didn't know what it would do with the brush, so I didn't want to do it. I think this will be fine. Okay. 
And let's use a brush. Ooh, which brush do I want to use? Let's use this one. Ah. Dang it. The paint dry. Like glitter, so they're kind of like pea clouds now. Okay. So we'll set this to the side for a minute to dry. That got a little gray, but it's going to be fine. Okay. So let's start sticking. That's glue. Okay. We're going to start sticking our sentiment down. So let me back out some. There we go. Okay.
Okay, so I believe that I am finished. So that completes my um, canvas for today. Um, kind of zoom in a little bit or I'll just fold it up actually. I went on ahead and added these little birds in the clouds because I had that mistake over here with the gray paint and it just looked bad. So there could be little birdies in the clouds. Um, kind of just an overview. My hearts aren't completely stuck down yet. The sides. And off comes the letter. Yeah, it's not dry yet. Um, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. And of course, after everything is dry and it is officially complete, I will take some photos to add to the end of the video. Um, I had a lot of fun creating this and I just wanted to um, <clears throat> thank Deco Art and for their Helping Artists program who provided the supplies in order for me to create this piece of art. Um, and I will leave a link in the description box below um, to where to decorart.com where you can go and find all the products that I used today in order to make this. Um, and as always, thank you for watching and be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.